a long squeak? <laughs> Listen! What's up, everybody? Tindo here. There's Hannah. Here's three wonderfully numbered boxes from one of you crazy people, and there's a whole bunch more where this came from. So stick around. We're gonna we're gonna just act like today's Christmas, I guess. Time to go to the post office. Grab some packages out of the PO box. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh man. First. Thank you very <laughs> all right we're gonna jump into these first because these three boxes are all numbered labeled and have very specific directions on how to open them so i'm very i'm very intrigued by this uh, i'm not exactly sure the name of the person that these three are from there's nothing clear about that on the box maybe we'll find out inside but these came from pennsylvania so i guess let's start with number one check it out Hey. Check it out. That's awesome. Hey. All right, take these two and I'll start with this one. I'm actually wearing Night Before Christmas socks, but I'm not going to pull my foot up that high to show you. <laughs> <laughs> but of course you are. I don't know if I am. Yeah, don't even try. <laughs> All right. I'm very, very curious. Oh my goodness. Oh no. I, so when someone goes out of their way to make all three packages the same and do this, it's like, is it going to be a bunch of nonsense? Is it going to be a bunch of one thing? And oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> McDonald's. Daisy. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. And there's a note. Stop. Yay. Okay to read on air. Uh, Smashables contained. Is that what this Ooh, is? I think so. All right. Here we go. We'll start here. Um, Hannah and Tindo, much love for the channel and daily videos. Please open these boxes with caution. You never know what will roll out uh, <laughs> of what and shatter to the floor. Okay, so Good to know. <laughs> we should probably let Hannah open them. Three boxes of random. Uh, Hannah, the spoilers uh, are for whatever your mind can come up with. Maybe mm -hmm. a spoilers spoilers again i figured you could either use or sell these things but my procrastination led to three mysteries for you guys boxes are numbered in uh absolutely no order just wanted box number one first to avoid breakage cool keep kicking ass mia and tristan uh my little yard seller that's awesome Aww. tristan my little man thanks for watching suki the cat you get treats today <laughs> tendo said so Okay, all right. I'm so nervous. All right. So there are breakables in here. So, so open with caution. <laughs> so be very careful. This this is calling to me first. Oh, it's a deck That's box. So I knew it was. Pretty. Warhammer. Are there Warhammer cards in here? Let's go. Uh, scan. This looks like a self-contained little card game that I don't Ooh. know much about. This is cool, but uh, we'll have to figure out what this is. Heal, scorch, uh, battle magic. That's cool. I've never seen that before, but. Equally awesome, a Warhammer deck box. Very high quality deck box, too. That, is it Warhammer or War Cry? Or is that the same thing? It's War, War, different. Warhammer's, the, well, there's now card games, video games, you name it for Warhammer. But, yeah, there's traditionally the little figurines that you paint. Um, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Wizard of Oz McDonald's toys. I've got such a growing pile of McDonald's <laughs> toys to go through. Oh, it's a McDonald's <laughs> Is that what it is? Yeah. It's so little. They're so small. I love they have like five pieces of hair. <laughs> well, the first piece of breakable glass was hidden inside the dinosaur oh. puppet, which I can nowhere near get my hands in. I want to see if I can. I probably can. Nope. It's actually really small. That's funny. Uh, more McDonald's toys. 
Crash Bandicoot, let's go. Oh my goodness. I don't even know what that is. More glass. Oh, is that a teddy bear dog? It's <laughs> exactly what it is. Um, oh no. I'm you using that. You have to use that. Yeah, I'm using it. That's going on my pillow tonight. All of his cool pillowcases are starting to get worn out. So. Yeah, we had some cool ones we bought at the thrift when we first moved here, but uh, they're just getting worn out. This looks like it's your son, Eric Clapton. Oh, nice. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. Oh my God, did you see? Not yet. It's funny that I, I did that that way, because now look. Boom! No, no. A bag full of power. No! <laughs> Saba! Oh, okay, and it like launches a Megazord or a car or something off of it. Um, I've never seen this before, but that's going right on the Power Ranger shelf. I brought some Power Ranger st stuff home on yesterday's episode, so I'll be dealing with I'll put this aside so I can put it right on the shelf. Uh, more McDonald's toys. Very nice. Wow. There's some stuff in there, I remember, too. Oh, baby. Reptar pin button. Want. That's I'll awesome. put it on my jacket. There you go. That's awesome. And two more shirts. Uh, That's Nirvana, a Nirvana team. shirt. For a very small person. Very cool. It's Forever 21. That's cool. Uh, Lil Wayne. Nice. <laughs> Ramones. That's cool. Man, I wish that fit me. I love the Ramones. I don't know if I know what the Ramones are. It's a, an OG punk band. Ah. Uh, oh, that's awesome. Tim like the, the, the storybook? That's awesome. Yeah. Warcraft uh, graphic novel. That's awesome. I didn't even, I don't know that I knew they made these. That's, that. that's cool you got two of those lids. They're very useful. They we are, never... I've got... I think I've got three in the booth right now that don't have lids. So, like, this is amazing. That's awesome. Those t-shirts are very cool. Thank you very much. You guys rock! That was a... That was a good way to start out because I'm very like, I'm very pumped about the McDonald's toys. We've made a good amount of content on our second channel about the McDonald's toys. I've only I've got another video coming up because we've just added so much to our collection. We're not just exclusively collecting McDonald's toys, but we keep some of the stuff that like we had it when we were a kid. Hannah's real hype on getting those uh, McDonald's Dalmatians. I'm real hype on getting those McDonald's Furbies and Poochies and some stuff like that. These are awesome. I can't wait to see what else is in there. All right, next box number two. You guys did a lot of work getting these together. Here we go. And cut. I'm glad I don't have to cut through. Jack. Hey, um, I knew that there would be something nightmare for persons in these boxes. Cause like, <laughs> why else would you put Jack Skellington on it? Right. Oh no. Did you see what I saw? I didn't. Close your eyes. I don't know if this is. <laughs> you love doing this to me. I do. A laughing and I don't know. And open. <gasps> yes! Oh my gosh, this is actually really funny. Um, I looked at an offer up yesterday and they had just listed a lot of Brad Stalls and she was one of them. I'm like, I've never seen that one before. Really? Yeah, that's, that's funny. so funny. You didn't tell me that. That's cool. Um, so pretty. The character you've never seen or that version of that character? Uh, the version. Okay, gotcha. This particular outfit. Look at this. That's fancy. Oh. Interesting. Very cute. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that looks, I love that. That looks like <laughs> that looks like something you would definitely buy at the thrift store. Heck yeah. Look at these ducks. I think a couple episodes ago we started working on the game room a little and I finally set a shelf aside just for ducks. Um, this is actually sitting on this table. <laughs> <laughs> Change duck. Uh, no. I, all I see is t-shirt and it's Hot Topic, so it's got to be good. Hot Topic has some dope t-shirts. Come at me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come at me, bro. John 422. Um, what is this? Oh. The California the Dream Perry Store. One. Oh. I knew it was like super colorful, and I'm like, this is going to be pretty. It's very bubblegum. I love it. Uh, another salt and pepper shaker, I think. <gasps> it's, but it's a doggo. Oh, but with the, the hydrant, it's... Oh. <gasps> You know what that is? It's the dog. He's peeing He's on the hydrant. the hydrant. Get the other one. Grab the other one. <laughs> That's hysterical. 
This is why I love salt and pepper shakers. Salt and pepper. They knew, these guys know you too well. This, you would have bought that at that oh, yeah. store. Okay, yeah. there's some stuff wrapped up in here. I'm so excited. Well, this get is... get more hype. <laughs> hype, hype. That's awesome. Oh, the quilt pattern. Look at these bed sheets. Not big enough for our bed, but very nice. That's okay. Very good wrapping. Um, uh oh, there's another. Ooh. I don't think. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Naked. Avert your eyes. <laughs> He's indecent. <laughs> it's another Dylan. Ooh, whole bed sheet. That uh, I think that's what they meant uh, in their letter with the material. This is good yeah. raw material. It's actually, um, it's it's uh, what like polyester. It's, it'd make a good lining for something. Yeah, it would. Someone asked us. I don't remember exactly who it was. Someone asked us on the channel the other day if we ever thought about putting linings and jackets and stuff for resale. We've done it for jackets for me personally, but it's yeah. just like there's nothing worse than taking out a lining with a jacket. It is an absolute heck ton of work yeah it's, it's so much so it's not cost effective but i do like doing that to my personal jacket yeah. so th that might come oh. in handy so there's three three books in here oh i love that it's a pillow it's completely like inflated that's really cool i used to have um I've never a seen... squishy book like this really? when i was a baby i've never seen one look at this okay legendary pokemon that might be a good candidate for some buttons oh yes perfect size um, and I've never seen this either. That's cool. It's a Pokedex, but like with very specific stat stats and stuff. All 482 plus 8 Pokemon. Wow. I've never seen that. That's awesome. That's amazing. Ooh. Okay, number three. I'm very excited. I can't. That was a. That was pretty awesome. I like how you number these because we got the lids. And heck, I was just happy with the lids because we never yeah. find them. <laughs> and then the bowls were in there. All right. I think they've been putting blankets and soft stuff on the top of all of them so I don't cut <laughs> what's underneath. I love mugs. Boom. Ooh. Oh. Very nice. Uh, Final Fantasy. It's got Cloud. Cloud's dope. Is that who it is for sure? Yeah, I think so. In the middle. Oh, yeah. He's got the giant, giant sword. More, more raw material. I like that Superman one. Ooh. All right, close your eyes. This is probably going to be a Whopper. Oh, no. <laughs> it is definitely a Whopper. It's huge. Look. Is it glass? It's very much glass. It's Pyrex? It's a I mean, Pyrex of... Ish. Oh, it's a Corey <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Uh, there's a couple of magnets in here. That's cool. Oh, it's a magnet bottle opener. Magnet WB guitar op bottle opener. There's a lot going on there. And one more Crash Bandicoot. That's awesome. I don't remember. I don't remember these. It opens up. Okay. I'm oh, actually... the Space Maker. Oh my god. Do you see what it is? <laughs> it's all erasers. <laughs> what the That's heck? That's so awesome. All right, you're going to have to comment below and let me know where you found that because... I would have bought that. I would have like it looks like something I'd find at the bins and be like, I don't know how to leave without this. There's a there's a Statue of Liberty eraser topper. I can honestly say I've never seen that many erasers in one place before. I don't know if it would actually work, but I kind of really want to make earrings out of them because I think I will, that'd be awesome. Well, here I'll start dumping some of them out so we can look at what's underneath. If there's any good pairs, it would work a fine. Fish. A couple so fish. Cute. The butterfly's funny. I think it, I think I can find some I, sets. I feel like I'm in middle school again. The little soccer balls. Look at the lips. The lips are awesome. Do you remember using these and they were small? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. They don't work at all, but they're awesome. They're great. Butterflies. Frog. Escapee. That's awesome. A little hot air balloon. I just dropped it again. That's really cool. All right, set that aside. I'm going to have to play with those later. I love this. Hold on, put these in there too. Uh, that was crazy. I've never seen that many erasers in one place. Thank you guys so much. Give that cat a treat. Deserves one. Uh, we're going to open this next one, and it is from uh, Norma and Jim. My step. Portland. My step. Yes, from Portland. My step great grandmother's name is Norma. Oh, cool. I met her once. So I think I'm confused. It's my mother's stepmother. I okay. met her once when I was a kid. I think she's still alive. I never heard about her, you know, going the way of the buffalo. Oh, baby. That's one way to put it. 
Oh, baby, look at this holographic. It's heavy. <laughs> it's a holographic Pikachu wallet. There's something very heavy inside. No! Oh, that's awesome! Charizard, let's go! A little bit tarnished. I can't tell if that's surface or scratched through. We'll have to see. I'll try to clean it up later. What a perfect container for that. So nice. I might have to switch to that wallet. It's pretty cool. <laughs> All right. Tendo and Hannah Bob uh, contains no spoilers. Ooh. Uh, a bit more nonsense from Portland to Seattle, ben, uh, Portland and Seattle bins. I hope you enjoy. Love the channel. Norma and Jim. Did I tell that? We've gotten a package from these guys before. And I remember. I, I remember the package. I think I said on that same video that my step-grandmother's name was Norma. <laughs> it's the only person I know named Norma. It's probably the third oh, time I've said that. A Dutch Bros sticker. I love is that Dutch what that Bros. Was? <laughs> it's like her favorite place on earth. It is. It's my treat. Pokemon. Double Pokemon. Uh, I have so many copies of this. And I think I'm going to take one or two of them now and make buttons out of it or something. Because uh, this is a book that... Uh, I tell you what is perfect for buttons because the size of the print inside and then like I wish I had a smaller button maker because like those buttons that were in that other package those little ones wouldn't those be perfect little size buttons very nice very very nice what is this oh no do you have any idea what's in there Sue Ellen Sue no. Ellen oh what give me what is this this! I want it! Oh my god! I put don't it on. wear watches, but I do now. You do now. <laughs> Alright, put that on and then show this it off to so us. Cool. Okay, I'm really bad at putting on watches. I will say when I Ow. when I see watches, I do like big face watches like that. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's a perfect fit. I've got really small wrists. You do. And mine are too big for most watches. Oh, Check that out. So cool. Get a get a close up. That's the coolest watch I've ever seen. It's so cool. Is that a, po a My Little Pony pop? That's awesome. Ah! That's really cool. Look at that. There's some Pokemon. Oh, the the not Lego branded, but the block Pokemon. <laughs> Look at this. I see a SpongeBob. I didn't even see that. Oh, I, yeah. There's a Patrick in there. Look at these. Oh, cool. That's actually really awesome. I don't know why that Mary Kate and Ashley one. I'm like, and then that WB Frog. What is this? Is that a keychain? It is. <laughs> that's Rad. cool. Uh, I think there's some Pokemon and SpongeBob stuff in there that's cool. That's, that's awesome. That's Psyduck. It's really, or uh, Golduck's really cool. That's crazy. That. I love, I love these boxes that, and that these guys have done this before. They went to the bins and filled it up with nonsense they thought we'd like. And, oh my God. I just got to peek at what's underneath here. Should I not look? No, I don't. Well, I don't think you're gonna be as pumped as I am. But um, there's two shirts in here. Let's do that first. But they they went to the bins and found stuff they thought we'd like, and it's just complete nonsense from the. No. No. Does it beat you? I hope so. I'm gonna lose weight if it does. Yes, it's huge. I've never owned a Power Ranger shirt that fits. Oh, it's perfect. That flew up to the top of my like favorite t-shirts for you. I'll wear that on tomorrow's episode. That one in the like. The Ninja Squirtle one. You did. Dope. You didn't find that at the bins, did you? Because if you did, I need to come to Portland right now. <gasps> no. <laughs> I'll go off camera and put it on right now. <laughs> we might. We might have to pause this video and change. Oh my God. All right, let's do it. Get up. Okay. Get up. We'll be right back. You guys stay right there. See. See how quick you can change. Go. 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 It's a race, it's a race. I got caught on my hair. I think mine has a tag on it. I can't get it off. Oh. No, it doesn't. Pace Bro. Use what we're doing. Bro, it's like a Chinese fire drill, but with clothes. Oh, goodness. That was awesome. Bro. Oh. Bro. Red. All right, well, you got to look at this next thing that's in there. That's what I saw. Oh, it's a plaque. That's so pretty. I'm going to hang that immediately on the side of one of my shelves that faces away because uh, that's... That's giving me vertigo oh, sorry. a little bit. <laughs> yeah. It's uh. Because it like, it, it moves. It's one of those... Yeah. Um, that's awesome. It's a plaque though is what's cool. I might have to just get a wall of plaques because here's another one. 
What are you guys sent me from a like a developer thing for a Harry Potter game? Tell me those would look dope on the wall next to each other. That's awesome. So cool. That's super awesome. And there's something else Super Mario in here. Oh, it's just a it's just a canvas. Cute. I was feeling it. I was like, what is this? That's awesome. This is really cool. I don't know if you know what this is. This is oh, it's super, it's full of surprises. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's awesome. That looks like a Ben's find of, of cards right there. Those are fun too. You know, do you remember getting those I exact do. stickers out of the little cardboard? Vending yep. Machines. Yep. Um, the Wii copy of Super Mario All Stars that came with a big box that had this DVD in it with it. It was really cool. Oh, cool. This is for you. <gasps> Very nice. You don't have a lanyard on your keys. You might have to put them there. Look how perfect condition this is. Way better condition than the one I already have. Are you ready? In my shirt. It's morphin' time. That's You're awesome. Five years old. It's so cute. What the heck? What? I don't know if this is an atrocity or oh, if this I is love an, it. A, amazing. <laughs> it's a My Little Pony cat. Is it branded? It's branded it? Mattel. Oh my God. It's well, branded Mattel. I think they came for a while. They came out with some like other things. I don't, I cannot yet decide how I feel about that. It took a weird <laughs> turn for a minute. What? Well, that has to find a place on our shelf. Because the hair is so curly and the tail is so straight, it's confusing. Right. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, I have I have three Game Informers here. I don't know that I recognize that Zelda one, so that's awesome. Uh, Call of Duty. Oh, look at that God of War one. This one's always cool. It's, a very, it's one of my favorite uh, Game Informer covers. It's just pretty. Oh, it's nice, so beautiful. Nice choice in colors. Well, that hurts my brain. Um, <laughs> that's crazy. That watch, these shirts, let's go. I'm definitely going to have to wear this on tomorrow's episode, too. It fits. It fits pretty good. It's a little tight in the guns. But it's uh, it's comfy. Yeah, yeah, it's tall enough. That's really what matters. Um, it's hard for me to get t-shirts that cover up my belly. Uh, all right, let's get into this next one. This one is from David in Florida. David in Florida. Make sure there's no instructions on the box. Oh, I hope I didn't cut anything in there. Just your glass shattering. <laughs> Terrible. Okay. Scissors it is. It. Scissors it is. Oh, baby. Don't peek. Don't peek. Read first. I will follow your instructions. Hey there, Tendo Bro and Hannah Bob. Hope all is well for you guys. Wishing you all the best. And just so you guys know, I love your videos every morning. I watch them. Keep up the great work. Now on to the package. These are items I found with you guys in mind on my discount and clearance hunt. Hope you guys like it. Your pal, David. P.S. Some items in this box have something to do with what you collect. Ooh. Let's go. Love a good bargain day. And thank you guys for including notes. We keep all of them in the game room. In a, in a nice box. Actually, in a box that one of you guys made. Okay, let's start with this shirt. It looks big. It looks big. <gasps> you, <laughs> are you changing again? <laughs> no. But that's amazing. You'll save that one for tomorrow, for yeah, sure. Well, day after. I'm going to wear this one on tomorrow's episode. And then uh, 4XL. It's huge. Whoa. Let's go. That's my size, baby. 4, 5XL. It's a comfy shirt for you. Okay. The rest of this kind of makes me nervous. Oh, my God. Do you see that? Do you see what those are? I'm purposely not looking. Oh, they're speed Ooh. duel cards. I've never opened a single speed duel pack. Um, which is funny because you and I would probably enjoy playing this version of Yu-Gi-Oh! more than the regular. It's like a slimmed down version. Uh, a cool. lot simpler. Uh, and only cards printed for this game are allowed in the game. So, that's awesome! That's I've never opened a pack of those. Bruh. Aww. That's a lot. It's a light. Cute. I've never seen that. I wonder how it lights. It like, oh, okay. It's kind of translucent, and then there's a light inside of them. That's cool. That's awesome. I've never seen that. This looks special. We might have to save that for last. Ooh. Let's save that for last. All right, books. More Pokemon books. Let's go. This is cool. I've never seen one of these. Huh. Need for Speed Lego. Cool. Oh. Did you see it? I got a little PC. I think we might actually have one, not this one, but one 
We do. It's on my shelf. Well, cool. We need to collect all of them because I think we might actually enjoy reading these. We don't read a lot of manga. I never get enough of my hands on enough of it at once. You know, I always find like book one and seven of something. But if we keep these until we get them all, I'll, I'll definitely be interested in reading those. I really would. So cool. Okay. This, I was going to say this is a shirt for you, but this is equally huge. Are you ready? <laughs> Boom! World champ! That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't wear that one. It'd be a lie. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm really bad at video games. <laughs> that's, uh, I like that blue, too. That's awesome. Beautiful. That's, All right. The big kahuna. Oh, I, I already forgot about it. I was already ready to move on. All right. Here we go. Are you ready? This feels incredibly special. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh. So it's got uh, it's got Mario Kart 8 on it. A print for Mario Kart 8. And it's made by Vaults, which I'm not familiar with. But this is going right on my Mario shelf. It's beautiful. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Super Mario 8 sticker. Two awesome Pokeball keychains. They're so hip. I don't know how to translate this on camera. These are super heavy. Look at this. Oh, wow. What? Oh, that looks so awesome. God of Twisted Sisters, Twisted Dreams, Owl Time Edition. Is this some awesome platformer? It looks like some platforming or some puzzle platforming. That's awesome. What? Don't look. What is it? Okay, <laughs> move your head. Go, go, go. Oh, yes. You know what this is? It's two starter decks, but it, 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 a, a coin two Pokemon starter decks, but they're like half-sized. So you can almost, I think they're two 30-card decks, you can almost take these, put them together, and it'd be one whole starter deck. Yeah, two 30-card decks. These are really cool. That's amazing. Yeah, and I'll have to, uh, I might actually leave this sealed and hang it on this wall behind us, because as you can kind of see back here, it's usually card stuff, but over the course of making videos for our second channel, that card stuff's dwindled. So maybe I'll just hang that back there. But I'll, what I'll have to do actually is look through this box of, of my Pokemon coins and make sure I don't have that one. If I ha don't have that one, I'm just going to open it up and take it out of there. That right is pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome. That's, What's this little guy? Oh, so, those the keys for the... Oh, it's the keys for the box. The box. That's amazing. Well, yeah, that's cool. Actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to go ahead and take this sticker out of here, um, which is beautiful, by the way. Or it's not a sticker. It's a tag. Oh. Oh. This is the tag for this box, so I will cool. leave that in there. I'm going to, and it's got the, it's so cool, it's got the Nintendo seal of approval tag in there. That is going to go right on our Mario shelf. And uh, our Switch is plugged up right now, we've been playing some Mario Kart, speaking of which, so we'll have to put this in. I'm very excited about it. It looks really good, it looks like something we'd like. Yeah, right up our alley. That's awesome. Well, thank you so, 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 so much. Um, mind blown. All I've, right. I've got shirts for days. <laughs> I've got shirts for days. Okay. It's good you didn't have shirts for days. I have a problem. Same, yeah. same black tank top for like six years straight. That's true. That's very true. Um, I'm very excited. I'm very excited. I don't like I'm speechless right now. Um, James Blackwell, South Carolina. Hold on. Open on camera. This side up. Hashtag trash life. Just making sure. Got to make sure there's no instructions. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> Alright. This is like... It's such a weird game going on. You know, we bring these boxes home and go, we have no idea what's going to be in here. And even if... Sometimes if they make a certain noise... Like that sounds like it has cards in it, you know? Potentially. But uh, it doesn't matter. I'm never right. I'm ne it's never like... You never. There's no way of ever knowing. It could be My Little Pony cards. We have no idea. Or it could be... It could be you something that finally fools me and doesn't sound like cards. Okay, read on camera. Sorry for writing so much. No need to apologize. The more the merrier. I'll say, hey, that's the whole point of this video. I don't chop these videos up and make it, like, you know, super punchy. I'll read the whole thing. Uh, Dear Tendo and Hannah Bob, I came across your videos about two months ago. I was instantly hooked. I grew up in a family of flea marketers, thrift, uh, thrift stores, and collecting. I'm 38 years old and have been keeping almost everything I ever had. I wish I could keep everything, but in reality, there is not enough room. So in my third or fourth time moving around and reorganizing my collection, uh, 
I'm throwing out some stuff. Uh, what better people to have it than you guys? So here you go, a box full of nonsense. Feel free to sell, trade, or whatever you feel. Uh, there is, however, a game for one of your handheld systems that you guys said that you didn't have many games for. Hit small blue case. <laughs> I know what that is. <laughs> I know what it sounds like. Uh, P.S. Love you guys. Keep the videos coming. Never give up. Also, continue the quest for nonsense. Your friend James. YouTube handle Bloody Bones. Uh, comment below so we can click on that, my man. Pretty please. Check you out. Um, what? Um, what did he say at the end of that letter? I'm, my brain is not retaining information <laughs> right now because I'm overloaded. He said, keep up the quest for nonsense. I'll be using that. Thank you. We should sign off on our videos with that. I, I love the way that sounds. <laughs> okay. Let's start with this. This feels like that's the sound I heard. I must know what's inside. Listen. Like a little wooden block. It could be something completely different, but that's almost what cards sound like. It's garbage pale kids cards. That's <laughs> awesome. Garbage, garbage day. It's a game. It's oh. okay, so it's not at all. Uh, Seventy-seven garbage. It's tra It's a trash game. That's the part of this. <laughs> but no, no, no. So what is it? Garbage, garbage pale kids. Yeah. Is that what it's called, or am I getting the name wrong? Yeah. They're like they've come back with a vengeance. There's like all this new. Uh, so I saw that thought and saw that. And that's what I thought of. But uh, there's a whole bunch of that stuff going around again. But these are. It's a game. And the quality of the print of these cards is astounding. They're almost printed on exactly what bicycle cards are printed on now. Cool. That's really cool. We'll have to figure out how to play it. I've never heard of that. Garbage Day. Have you ever seen this before? I haven't. I love that it's a tiny trash can. It's yeah. so funny. Well, that, I need just a shelf full of trash stuff. Uh, McDonald's Beanie Baby. Aww. Beautiful. What is this? And how do I get into it? Tape for you. And thanks for the bubble wrap. We might just okay. recycle it. Hi, we like we will recycle it. <laughs> what is it? Oh! No! They're actually <laughs> sleeved Marvel cards. Oh, and not even just. Okay, so some Fleer cards. That's awesome. Uh... Ooh, Deadpool. These are awesome. Carnage. I've got a big... I've got two whole garbage bags. Not, not garbage bags, I'm sorry. Ziploc bags full of those that still need to be processed. Some of these binders back here behind Hannah, except that big, the big blue one, are nothing but Marvel and Fleer cards. And I've got some near-complete collections. I'm hoping to complete some of them with stacks of cards like that that I've both found at the thrift. Some of you guys have sent me. I love these Marvel cards. Okay, is this candy? Every time I see a little tin like this, all I think is candy. Ooh, they're swabs. Oh. What? Oh, they're literally oh, just... Cases. They're just Q-tips. That's so cool. That's helpful. That's re really interesting. I, it's a neat way to brand them. I guess you can get your kids excited for using them that way. You, get, you think? Maybe. That's so cool. That's really cool. You can market Star Wars stuff L to me anyway. Listen to my fat self like, ooh, candy. <laughs> there's a little... Uh, Vader. Is this from... McDonald's toy? Uh, it doesn't look like a McDonald's toy. It's some sort of fast food thing, though. But that's Burger cool. Burger King. I saw that oh, Okay. Bottom. Burger King, Darth Vader. I've never seen those before. Because you remember the... I think they were Burger King. You remember the Tatooine, like the globes that opened up? Star Wars? They were some fast food toys. I bet McDonald's. Mm -hmm. I want to collect those again. Uh, but I'll have to look out for more of those. I've never seen that. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. I don't... I can't... I can't tell what it is. The bubble wrap is... Hold on. What does that I say? I writing. Tindo. Don't yeet. Don't we yeet the letter. <laughs> okay. We'll have to find it. Or was the letter sitting on top of it? That? Must, it must have been. Ooh, it's a puzzle. Cool. I almost uh, bought a puzzle on yesterday's episode, but it was too expensive. We'll have to put that together. We don't do enough puzzles together. Okay, so I'm pretty sure, I've been looking at these really hard, I'm pretty sure these are toothbrushes. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> a Mace Windu and a Darth Vader toothbrush. You wanna use them? I call dibs on Darth Vader. And That's then, awesome. <laughs> these are like little looking glass thingies, so like, it's, 
Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Uh, those are cool. Would you be mad if you had to eat a bowl of cereal with a spoon that small? <laughs> You'd be mad. I, that might be your punishment one night. I'm going to make you eat dinner with these. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is uh, Darth Vader from Burger King. That's oh, cool. Sweet. That's really cool. Uh, another, it's a McDonald's, that one's a McDonald's toy, C-3PO, that's cool. I have no idea what these are. Ninja Turtles, I think they're just spin tops. Oh, cool, or, okay. Or something like that, I don't know. I've never seen those. They're interesting. Whoa, that's ancient looking. Oh, wow. And then... Oh, playing cards, cool. Very nice. Check this out. I've never seen this. Tough Stuffs Collect. That's cool. Oh no! You know what these are? I don't. Alright, so there's almost any collectible card or sometimes even card games, you can get an uncut set of cards. Now this isn't exactly that because they never actually plan on cutting these. Um, but this kind of came with and around the same stuff and I actually have these. All the, one, Another one of you guys sent me all these standees that came with this, but I've never had one of these. That's I knew awesome. I knew of its existence. I've seen this around a couple times. That is super awesome. So going right on the Power Ranger stuff. That's awesome. Oh! Toy Preview 209. I love okay, I love Pirates of the Caribbean. When it came out, it was like my absolute favorite thing in the whole world. Anytime I see Jack Sparrow, I'm like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now here's something super useful. Ooh! I need I, words can't express how much I actually need those. Because, you know, those Marvel cards I've been talking about. Seriously, uh, I need, I need those. Um, and then tough stuff. That's cool. Do you see what I see? <gasps> the little blue case. Yes, our second ever PS Vita game. Ah! Um, and I've actually played all the Uncharted's except for the handheld ones. So now I can actually get somewhere near completion. Congratulations, you single-handedly doubled our collection. Very much so. <laughs> Some demo discs, which I am an avid lover of. Uh, I need to get to sorting my demo discs. I used to keep pretty good track of them, but now I've just got, I've probably got doubles of most of them. Because I just, I don't leave them at the thrift store. I bring them home. That's awesome. And this is a create your own comic book. That's neat. And then, what is this? The Amazing Spider-Man. Okay, there's a comic there, but then a uh, comic book and movie sneak peek. That's neat. That's cool. Maybe it's like a pack-in for in a magazine or something? Yeah. Pretty cool. All right, here's a big old box. This is from Heather and Josh from Delaware. And this is a big one. It's a big one. Um, make sure there's no instructions. I'm trying not to mess this up, guys. I'm trying. I haven't, I haven't messed up too bad. This might take an hour to get inside of them. A lot of tape happening. Got that good tape. Yeah, not the cheap stuff like we use. <laughs> the dollar store tape. It's effective. <laughs> All right. Ooh, the jumbo bubble wrap. Do you see what I see right on top? I don't. No. Not looking. Do you, Do you know what it is? No. You didn't see it at all. I didn't look. Okay, well it's a Pikachu card. <gasps> But it's special, and I don't own a single one of these. I Is can't it believe it's new. It's graded. Wait, we're, what? We're skipping the note. We're going right. It's graded Jim Mint Ten. It's a base set Pikachu. Graded Jim Mint Ten. I'm gonna put it on a necklace and wear it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but it's graded by uh, Mint Grading. Okay, neat. Very neat. And it is, you can tell. It's is it in... sparkly? Like the case around it? No, no it just, I, I, it's it just... the light. <laughs> yeah, you're just, you're seeing shiny. It's, um, maj it's majestic. That's cool. Uh, I don't have a single graded card at all, so neat. Um, oh, that's beautiful. And I, I'm not familiar with that uh, grading company, but I will look it up. It's so cool. I'm going to find a nice way to display it back here. Uh, maybe for now we'll put it on display back here with Harry Potter. What? <laughs> well, that was a really good start to a box. Uh, safe to read on camera. Spoilers. 
Okay, so there are spoilers. We'll see Make, it. Don't let me forget to read it. I have a heartache. Every time the things are like packaged individually, I'm like, what is? Oh. All right, close your eyes. Ooh, okay, maybe not. I was just in case it was like Pyrex or something. This is more of a, well, I don't know. I think you've probably seen more Walking Dead than I have. Oh, for sure. Okay. I've seen almost all of it. I have, I saw the first couple seasons. I need to, I, I didn't stop watching for any other reason. I think it was about when I went off to college. Yeah. And then I, I just didn't. I kind of stopped watching after my favorite character got killed off. So <laughs> we'll leave it at that. All right. There's four more, three or four more in here. Oh. oh no! Shipping error! That's okay. That happens. We have one. That happens. Um, believe you, me, as people who ship dishes every day, it'll happen. My least favorite messages on eBay is, um, this is broken. Like, well, no! I'm sorry the postman soccer kicked it. <laughs> he yeeted it. There's Daryl. That's his name, right? Uh, the guy with yeah. Yeah. Thank God I got it right. <laughs> <laughs> Norman Reedus. Okay. Alright, let's, uh, here's the last one. I guess it was maybe like a set. I think so. Oh, Glenn! Very nice. So, um, that's, she's the if one. If you haven't watched it, Michonne! That's cool. Michonne is so cool. You see, there's so much more in here. Okay. I do see what you see. Oh! We actually, you know what, guys? This is cool. But actually, it's really cool to have this in box now. Yeah. I have this not in box. We put it together. We put it together, I think Patrick and I, right? Yeah. On the channel way back. We had like 400 subscribers. It's like <laughs> a year ago. <laughs> yeah, it was almost exactly a year ago. So I might just leave that on the box and put it on our shark shelf. Yeah. That's really cool. All right. Um, TY, Beanie Baby Hamster. Aww. I don't know if I knew that one existed, to be completely honest. So cute. A deck box. I'm kind mm. of afraid to find out what's inside. I'm very excited about what's inside. I saw it. Did you see it? No. Um, you know what this is? Are they all QR codes? It's a whole brick full of QR codes. It sure Sweet. is. Free digital cards. That's awesome. Um, all right. You ready for this? It's a sleeve. I think it's somebody's deck. Okay, so right off the bat, that card right there, I think, now, I might be corrected if I'm wrong, because somebody might know better, but I think I opened that card in a tournament pack from a tournament I played in and won. Oh, really? When I was like 12, 13. You so, were a little Yu-Gi-Oh badass. Oh, I was. I didn't lose. I tried as hard as I could not to lose. Um, I also, not only that, but there was a couple times that my region where we played had to uh, contact whatever tournament people contact to find out things because I would like I would find new cards and break the system and they'd be like oh like I would win a whole tournament with the bro by breaking making the cards break the rules not because like I cheated or made it up but like they would print two cards early on that they didn't know you know exactly how it worked and I would break I would break the whole system and win a tournament and then the next time I'd come back they're like you can't do that this time <laughs> Dang it! Ooh, I was, I was clever sausage. I was too clever. Um, this is awesome though. But I, that's what that card makes me remember. But this is uh, Legend of Dragon, maybe LOD, and then that that Blue Eyes. Now this isn't the exact one. That's from Legend of Blue Eyes. Um, like start, red eyes. Sorry, these are all awesome. These are all like super classic cards. Um, that but that print of Blue Eyes White Dragon, not this specific card, but that artwork came in shown in Jump Magazine when I was younger, and I went and bought it that way. It was so cool. This is this has got me hype. There's lots of lots of nostalgia inducing cards in here. I'm gonna look at every one of them. I have to know. That's beautiful. Thank you so much for that. There's so many cards in there that I don't have a copy of that are like straight from my childhood. Ooh, baby. Hello. That's a good one. I remember that one, too. There's so many new Yu-Gi-Oh cards out that sometimes some of the new stuff, I'm just like, I don't know what this is, but like almost everything in there is from my era. Um, okay. Oh, no! Okay, these are, these are all video games. 
<laughs> Somebody on the Discord the other day showed me a picture of this. Okay. It's a shark Beyblade. So I guess it's going on the shark awesome. shelf. It was on the. Sh it was. It, they showed it to me. I was like, well, "That's really cool. I've never seen that before." And then I go to Walmart the next day to buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Full circle here, I guess. And for whatever reason, up front with the Beyblades are in the back of the toys. For whatever reason, when that happened. This was sitting there by the cards. All the card stuff. And I, so I sent a picture to that person on Discord and we thought that was funny. But now I have one. I didn't, I didn't know it was a thing. It's I, I guess the Beyblade is supposed to be like a shark Beyblade, but the launcher is in the shape of a shark. That's really neat. Rad. I've got a Beyblade shelf too. And it's one of my favorites. Mostly the vintage stuff on it, but that I think we can make an exception for that one because it's so cool. Alright, there's two things of video games here, and I think this one looks to be mostly PlayStation 1. Which just makes me giddy, so we'll save that for last. Let's see what's in here. Alright, PlayStation 3 Bionic Commando. Splinter Cell Blacklist, nice. Ooh, this looks cool. Enslaved Odyssey to the West. You guys have to let me... I was going to say something about that game. Did you see what's underneath it? Did you even see it? I got like a quick peek. I think I know what it is, but I don't... I ain't got to get enough. Okay, well, Enslaved... I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my mind. Enslaved Odyssey to the to the West. You probably got to pick now. Um, this looks really cool. Looks like my kind of game. That's awesome. Um, Digimon World <laughs> Data Squad. What? It's a game I don't have. Oh, you packaged it so well. I'm playing this tonight. I've got so many new games to play. <laughs> This is awesome. No way. Evolution Worlds. That's not a game I'm familiar with either. You guys let me know in the comments below which of these games are a must play. Um, that definitely is. Digimon World Data Squad. I'm speechless. I don't know. Like, um, And we have a Digimon shelf, so I guess I'll have to go on there. But... Um, Right, like literally on the edge of this frame, my PlayStation 2 is right here. And I've been playing my PlayStation 2 right here in this room. Uh, we might have to go live and live stream that one or something. Ooh. Um, thank you so much. That's awesome. I'm glad. I'm really glad we didn't read that note first because if it said something about the Digimon game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So there's a stack of what appears to be PlayStation 1 games. See if I can get them all out first before we look at them. Oh, they're in such wonderful condition. Ooh. Okay, what? Ooh. Jade Cocoon? This looks amazing. That looks so cool. Infinite Monsters. Ooh, Grandia. Uh, I don't think I have any Grandia games on PlayStation. Well, I, I mean, I definitely don't. I don't have this game, but same with Star Ocean. I have a couple PlayStation 2 Star Ocean games, but none on PlayStation 1. Oh, I'm ecstatic. You package these, so this person knows what they're doing. Yes. So cool. Oh, boy. You hype? I'm playing it. I can't <laughs> wait to play it. I There's some Digimon games I'm very nostalgic for. And there's some I haven't played, and I've never played that one. So to have a, an old school Digimon experience I haven't had yet is something I'm very, very excited about. So let me read this note now. I, I'm always amazed when people can write so neatly, so small. Because I cannot, I do not have that much control over my hands. <laughs> hey, Tendo and Hannah Bob, how are y'all? We love watching your videos after work and wanted to send some goodies your way. The Beyblade makes us think of you all every time we're in Walmart. <laughs> it is the one we shared on Discord. That So that was you. It was you. <laughs> um, the video games are some doubles. We hope you don't have, I don't think I had a single, well, maybe one or two of those PlayStation 3 games, but, but not most of them. Um, so they're going right on the shelf as soon as this is done. Figure you thrift enough, you'll come across the manuals at some point. The Yu-Gi-Oh cards are the remains of my childhood collection and hope you get some good pulls from the code cards. Can't wait. Uh, lastly, the glasses are something we thought would work well in your booth. Keep up the great uh, job and we look forward to all the new content. Heather and Josh. 
uh, the it says try hard enthusiast on Instagram. That's an awesome name. P.S. I think the Pikachu card was a magazine insert years ago. That's awesome. Um, that kind of explains why it's one of those more obscure grading companies. But I don't care. It's it's locked in that glass, and I don't I don't have anything like it. It's I don't have any grading cards from any grading company. I can't, I can't believe that box started <laughs> with a graded card and ended with a Digimon game. Oh, hey. Oh, my brain hurts. Oh. All you guys rock. You're all too much. Um, okay. Lol. Big scissors, LOL. Big scissors rule, exclamation mark. Uh, share rocks. <laughs> yeah, she does. Do you believe? <laughs> okay, well, I guess that means we have to open these with the big scissors. Here we go. Are you ready? Yep. How do I not mess this up? Well, <laughs> there I can directly see what's inside there. Oh, and also this is from J. Fox in Oklahoma. <laughs> There's something hairy coming out of this box. <laughs> it looks like synthetic looking troll hair. Okay. No spoilers. Oh no. It's a hat. I think it's a hat. I think it's a hat. Um, no spoilers. Okay to read on camera. Dallas and Hannah, here are some items of random nonsense from my collection. The Oklahoma City bins and thrift. Have we been there? Yes. Yes. We went there on our last trip. No. Yeah. Wait. No, that's our favorite one. Trip before last. Yeah. We. It was... The one that had a lot of different prices for things, and it was a little confusing, but... but we didn't go on this last road trip. We went on the one right. before. It's the one with the conveyor belt. Yes. Yes. Very great. If you're ever in Oklahoma City, go to the bins. We highly recommend it. It was a fun one. Uh, I think that's where we really started. Our, it was like the second time we found a lot of Thomas the Tank stuff and really got yeah. us into reselling that. Had a lot of good toys there. I hope you can put them to use or make some money in your booths with some of it. Uh, I've been watching your videos since early March and have watched every video you've made, even a couple of your movies, on your other channel. Well, you're the one. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, loved Lost in Time. Uh, if you guys don't know, I you know I talk about writing and stuff all the time randomly. I went to school for writing, and uh, so I've made several movies in my time, just of my own, of my own time and money with friends and stuff. And uh, Lost in Time to date was probably the one I put the most effort into. So. I'm glad you watched it. That actually means the world to me. Thank you so much. Um, if any of you are curious, though, there's like, if you go to our main page, there's like suggested channels. You'll see my face over there on another channel. You can check it out. But uh, uh, I have to say that the two of you have truly inspired me and shown me that it is possible to have my own business and work for myself. It always seemed like a pipe dream until I started watching y'all learning how to do it. Now I have my first booth open, and I'm excited to possibly open another. Thank you so much for being a consistent part of my daily life. I look forward to your videos with my coffee each morning. Keep up the great work. Y'all rock. Jessica Fox, a.k.a. J. Fox. Okay, see, that's awesome. Um, that note makes my day. I, I love hearing that, you know? Uh, I, I think there's a certain truth that when we got into reselling we kind of fell into it i mean at least the start we we, we definitely uh, the genesis of our reselling was like we like thrifting we had a conversation to how could we maybe just start making some extra money and that was all through the lens of like over the years before we even got into it we we already like i bought and sold guitars and stuff i like so we already kind of had a a baseline understanding of it but I, I i'm saying this to tell you that it honestly just kind of feels at times like we fell into it you know what i mean yeah. we stumbled into it because we moved here for a job and then found out while we were here that the bins and the thrifting were so otherworldly right yeah that's where we felt like we stumbled into it so i'm, I'm explaining this to say that for you to, to say that we in any way helped you on your journey of doing the same thing seems strange it's hard it's hard for us to accept almost not i'm not being negative towards what you're saying in any way it's just i'm saying my brain in pure computations is like nope mm -mm, nope <laughs> that makes sense that compute because it almost seems so accidental that we're here I mean, I don't want to take away from the effort either of us, or especially Hannah has put into like her jeans. Like, there's no doubt she tried and she had a plan, and we we've, we've planned things. But we could have just so easily never have accepted the job you accepted that brought us here. And if we had never come here, I don't think we'd be doing this. I don't. I don't think so at all. 
if I were in LA, I'd probably have put more focus into my filmmaking rather than my YouTube video making. You know, yeah. lots of little things like that. I mean, I would be definitely in a different. I would be still pursuing trying to work for a fashion company yeah. to be able to fulfill right. my dreams. Rather than sitting right across from this camera working on your own fashion. Yeah. So thank you for saying so. It makes us feel better about the choices we've made, but I think we're going to have to let the reality of the life we're living in right now settle for a little while longer before we <laughs> before we could accept some of that. But thank you so much for saying so. It does... Um, I don't know if I made sense of that. Well, I don't know if what I just said made sense, but it's just hard to believe we're sitting where we are, really, and, and able to do this for a living. So... I appreciate that you're finding your way to doing so too. That's really awesome. And I wish you the best. And then on top of that, uh, I, I recognize your name. So we've chatted on Discord or Instagram or something. So do please keep me posted how that booth is going for you. Uh, I would, I've would i said this to anyone who has said to me on the comments and Discord. And per, a lot of people in person even have told me. Uh, they've started a booth. They're starting booths. They're doing this kind of thing. And, I, and I've told every single one of those people, do let me know how it goes periodically. Check in. I'm trying to keep this in the back of my head. I'm trying to gather that information and be able to confidently speak on how it's going for others. So please, please feel free to contact me anytime. Talk. Well, that brings up, it's not a hat, it's a, it's not even a, it, it looks like one of those goofy hats, I think it's a puppet. Yes! Oh. Yes! Alright, are you ready for this? Oh no. Oh, hold on, your turn. Oh! A little improv for you. Hello, Bernie. Don't be mad. Did you hear the long squeak? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> That's my new favorite puppet. It even has a note on it that says, Squeak my beak. Squeak my beak. Please get me a t-shirt that says that. Squeak my beak. Oh my gosh. That has to that has to go on display somewhere. That's Oh god. That's crazy. Alright, let's jump into this box and Do you see this? My local game store sells these on sale days. They are buy one, get one free. I'm addicted. Pop culture cards, over 350 cards randomly assorted in the game. No way! Listen. Um, I hate to do this to you guys. But this is perfect content for our other channel. I love grab bags. We love, love grab bags. So um, there will be a video tomorrow or in the next couple days us opening that. That's nuts. I'm so excited. I'm pumped. I can't... I, I like saw the bottom of it that said the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon sports things. And I yeah. was like, no. Yes. Well, so you definitely need to holler at me. Let's chat on the Discord or something. I need to know where this store is. The next time we come through... Because next road trip, we definitely got to go through there. Because it's seriously top five favorite bins in the whole country for us. Um, what? So cool. So I'm assuming, I, I didn't see what that was. You did, obviously. I didn't realize what it was. But I did I did peek at this and realize this is a complete set of these X-Men cards. Oh, which, wow. If it's complete, it's going straight in a binder. Um, yes, I love it. Um... But I guess that's where you got this, yeah? Did you get these? Let us know below or come uh, reach out and talk to me. Did that come out of those grab bags? Oh, there's even more. Uh, a couple of these are homemade by some kid. Made me laugh. Well, we have to see that. Oh. I hope they're, like, drawn on. Well, Power Rangers Pogs are the best. Oh, there's, there's a lot of them. I have, like, three of these. Seriously. These came in uh, card packs. That's awesome. I'm so pumped. There's the... <laughs> yes! Well, as you guys know, from the last couple of mail times, we are avid Pog collectors now. And Hannah can attest to this. Almost anything I collect, I love collecting fake versions. Yeah. Knockoff versions, etc. Homemade versions as well. In our old apartment before we moved over here, we had a... Um, like a Captain America shield collection and a couple nice ones. We've since sold them, but I always kept a cardboard one that I found at the bins that some kid it made. It wasn't and, even good. And Hannah was always like, I don't understand, but I guess I guess there's such fond memories of me being younger 
and making stuff. You guys that have been watching for a while know that I'm, I avidly make stuff. And I'm just super lucky to have had a grandmother that raised me that, that like, completely was behind me all the way making stuff. Just anything I wanted to make, she would buy me the stuff to make it. And that's, that's how she spent money on me. If I wanted to... If I wanted to build anything, she helped me do it. And she very often helped me do it. So I, something about that, I think, sparks me want to keep the nonsense versions of things. So that makes my day. That really does. Oh, my God. Um, so this is interesting. Xena cards. We have two complete sets, but I think there are like five. Oh, really? There's like a set for each season or something like that. I can't remember exactly. It's something like that. I can't remember exactly what, but... Um, so that'd be cool. Hopefully, maybe this will fill some holes in that collection. And then here's some Power Rangers movie cards, um, which actually tie into that card sheet. So you see how the same kind of things going on here, the movie thing. Yeah, those. So that that kind of goes together. So I'll keep those together so I can address them together later. Okay. Um, let's get through, through some of this miscellaneous. A really nice, I think enamel, or what do you call that metal print? I think enamel. Yeah. Uh, Pikachu keychain. That's beautiful. I can't get over this. So cool. That's going to be a great video within and of itself. Uh, two Super Mario keychain skateboards. Sweet. We've been doing a lot of keychain stuff, as I guess you know. Um, and my favorite keychains we have found thus far have all been skateboard ones. Like, they're just awesome. Uh, got bubble wrap stuck to my foot. No. Do you see what this is? Uh, these are pin these are pins, which is awesome. So we showed off our pin board collection on yesterday, day before yesterday's uh, video. Hangover. Yeah, I know that one. That's Power Rangers. That's, oh, cool. That's all the the Zord animals. Neat. Mastodon, pterodactyl. You know, these are awesome. Zobi box is not. Uh, I think it's. Limited to five. There's only 500 of these in the world, and I have one. That's so cool. That actually makes me happy. With Power Rangers stuff, sometimes that stuff doesn't make me excited, but that does. Um, okay. Oh, my gosh. You know what this is? They're, uh, they're gumball. But I'm trying to figure out what they are inside. I thought for a second they might be those goofy little Pokemon, but they're not. They're some sort of little rubber figures. That's awesome. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna investigate. Yeah, find out what that is. Uh, oh no! Now I wish. Oh, I can't. I lied to you earlier. My PS Vita is right there. I just couldn't. It's a PS Vita bag. Nice. Keep it safe. Be able to keep a microfiber in there too with it, or it probably is microfiber itself. Actually, I have another hard case that it goes in, but I bet that probably will comfortably fit in there with the bag inside too. So it's like double protected. That's beautiful. Very useful. Where's that Vita game? Right on top. We're so ready to go. We're so ready for a road trip right now. I th I think next road trip we do, we're just going to take Vita and PSP. We took the Switch with us last time because we were also visiting family, so we played Mario Kart with family and stuff. But this time it's going to be a Vita Switch vacation. And then we can watch movies on, on them. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So I investigated. These are Meow Meows. Do you know what that is? No. They are they are all cats? Supposed to be little cats, and they all have hats, and they're just <laughs> different little, little rubber figures with hats. I've never seen such. Never in all my very cute. In all my years, keychains. That's cool. It's just a very rubber keychain. Um, this there's two more things in here that uh, have notes on them. I think. In case you aren't sure, it's from Black Sheep. Al Donnelly for governor. I've never seen Black Sheep. Oh, uh, so is Black Sheep the name of, the, I guess, the TV show this is from? I, that's what I'm assuming. Well, that's, that's cool. I, I actually have a kind of a soft spot for fake political stuff. So, like, I have a sticker on my car that says Bartlett for President 96 from West Wing. So, I like that kind of thing. That's really So, I guess it's all supposed to be uh, political buttons from that show. We'll have to give, check it out. Maybe they must have watched it. That's cool. I bet I like it. I like. I pretty much love political dramas and stuff. So if that's what it is, oh my god! <laughs> Some elf ears. That's funny. There's two sets. Oop. It's time. I don't know. My ears are funny. 
I got earrings in. This might not work. Lol. I'm, it's closer to your skin color. <laughs> <laughs> it <It's>, sounds weird. <laughs> yeah, everything's echoey now. Oh! That's awesome. I would have went for that quicker if I'd realized what it was. That's going uh, on your keychain. Well, that's the thing. I'm going to want to put it on there, but I feel like I'll break it if I do. It does look fragile. I have, I think, another one or two Power Ranger keychains. I think I'll just find a way to suspend them on my Power Ranger shelf. That's awesome. That's beautiful. Okay, close your eyes. Have you seen this yet? No. Hannah found two sealed copies uh, in one month. I kept one for myself and knew one better that should have the other. Uh, no one better that should have the other. Hope there's room for it on your shelf. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely there is. It is sealed. Open your eyes. Is this something I'm going to want to open? I don't think so. Let me see. <gasps> oh, it, wow. It's sealed with a sticker on it and everything. That's it's, amazing. It's even got the touchstone seal uh, inside the wrapper. That is awesome. That'll go on your Nightmare for Christmas shelf. Finally, something closed that you really have no need to open. Uh, yeah, I will actually keep this sealed. Because we've got it on Blu-ray and DVD. Gears of War 4 Field Guide. That's beautiful. No! Close your eyes. Oh, no. You're going to need a bigger shelf. Open them. Oh, cool! <laughs> we have one Xena comic and three Hercules comics featuring Xena. That's awesome. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, there's some buttons in here that are interesting. They're all raisins. Or were they prunes? Is this the... The California raisins? Well, we've encountered this before. It's a thing. Here you go. Those are cool. We got a lot of buttons today. Okay. PlayStation Soundtracks Volume 2. I've never seen that. That'll probably go with my demo discs. Final Fantasy VII DVD. Blu-ray, sorry. Awesome. Nice. Um, no way. Comics Digest with Sonic. I've come across one of those before, but not that issue. Look at these Archies. I think I know somebody that collects these pretty heavy. That's awesome. And Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Oh, there's stickers. Nice. And there's a few more buttons in there. Oh no. Oh, this is this what I think it is? I have no idea what it is. Dallas figured you could listen to these while you travel or work since I'm sure you don't have much reading time anymore. Not currently. Um, seven stories on a compact disc, Louis Lamore. Huge fan. Featuring Willie Nelson. That's what confused me when I picked it up. I, I guess he probably plays some sort of intro music or something. Disc one, disc two. Or maybe he's the voice that's reading the books. That would be strange, wouldn't it? It'd be kind of cool. Uh, Trail to Pie Town. Yeah, it is. You're totally right. You're totally right. Big brain. Right. <laughs> um, well, that's interesting. It's not too big of a surprise, though, because a lot of... Uh, well, it, I don't... Listen, Will, uh, Willie Nelson's a highly intelligent individual. I'm not at all, like, saying anything about him reading or anything, but... It just doesn't seem like something he'd take time to do. Yeah, like he wouldn't but I mean, to do it. I don't know, no, no, at the same time, he's been in a lot of movies. I don't know if you I've seen all of his movies, so uh, I love, I, I'm, a, I'm a Willie Nelson fan, but um, Louis L'Amour books are pretty short hmm. a lot of the time, so I don't know what my head's thinking. I just thought, like, Willie Nelson has time to read audiobooks? I don't know. There's more buttons. There's a lot of these in here. Um... Is he a raisin or a plum? Or, he's a, he's um, a, a prune. It's a California raisin. Okay. I don't know. Well, last we pulled something raisiny out of a box once, and all the comments were like, it's like the mascot for the Olympics. It was something I was like, what? <laughs> but, no, these are cool. I'll take buttons any way I can get them. I've never seen those. All right. Make sure there's nothing else in here. There's so many more. They're all just like spilled to the bottom of the box. They're just like, hey, surprise buttons. Lol. All right. Thank you so much. That was a whirlwind. And uh, you guys subscribe to our other channel, Rubber Duck Yellow. We'll be opening that. We might have to just film that after this because I don't know if I can wait. What if it's full of Pokemon cards? Yeah. I, I just I hope it's random miscellaneous. All right. I think we have one more package left. Can you can you pick it up? Help. It's huge. Oh. Oh God. It's actually really heavy. It's very heavy. <laughs> um. I'm kind of nervous about how heavy it is. I mean, it's incredibly heavy. Uh, it was hard. It was actually difficult for me to carry it out of the post office. Do you think there's a note in here or anything? It says 
read yeah, first. Yeah, it says Tindo read first here, so I guess this is a note. Um, I don't want to tear this up. Uh oh. Oh, I almost cut whatever it is. That was close. <laughs> Make sure there's nothing else in there. Uh, here we go. Uh, from Todd. Uh, Tindo and Hannah, hey, it's uh, Hoop Dogs. Again, you've sent us stuff before. I, I recognize your name. Uh, Hooked do Hooked Dogs. Uh, JT Moore's here again with something from my masses of death piles I've collected over the years. Uh, really, it's just some things I thought y'all could put to better use than I ever will. I've been watching every day for about six months now, and I've been a full-time reseller full-time for just this past year on Amazon and eBay. I've sold on eBay since its beginning in 97. I think I remember you saying that before, because we... You remember yeah. talking about that? Because yeah. that's nuts. I specialize in electronics and video games, but really anything I can turn a profit on here in my Arkansas town of Batesville. We have one goodwill and no telling how many resellers. I'm planning on going to the bins in Little Rock pretty soon, where y'all went recently for my first bins. Also amongst our top favorites. Have we ever went to... We've went to one bins where we were like, we don't like it. We love yeah. them all. Uh, <laughs> I love your channel and especially the fact that y'all haven't changed as, uh, as in your, you bring something new almost every day and as you've grown, haven't gotten the big head like some other YouTubers I've watched. And I've always been a baseball cards fan. In fact, I have a closet full of worthless cardboard from the 90s. I've got a shelf full too. Uh, but you've got my curiosity in Pokemon and for the first time I've been picking a few up. Uh, anyhow... Y'all, uh, keep it up. I recently learned of the Bolo G, be on the lookout jean jacket find from y'all and picked up one for $7 and sold it on eBay for 75 Killer. Nice. I've had a question to ask you to answer on your show if you can, and that's how do you budget yourself every day when you go thrifting? Is there a certain amount, and I don't expect you to be specific, but just wondered your process as in do you allow yourself only to spend a certain amount per day, or do you just go by how sales are the week or the day? Um, great question. I'll be glad to answer it. Uh, let me finish this letter. Uh, thanks, and I hope you enjoy my box of nonsense, and feel free to do whatever you want with just uh, my way of saying thank you. Uh, Jeffrey Todd, uh, thank you very much. And there's a game for Hannah I found that she might have or not, but uh, so you know, it's got a spot on the disc. I couldn't tell if scratch or not, but uh, couldn't clear it up. So considering the game, I hope, uh, I hope you can get it working. You'll know the game when you see it super excited okay so let's answer that question I actually um, thank you for the question it's a really good one um, and I think maybe the answer could surprise a few because I think a lot of people deal with this you know especially if you're doing it full-time it's very easy to walk into a store and find tons of stuff I mean our ex we you guys see it we very rarely leave a goodwill without buying something and honestly, on a lot of episodes, like yesterday's episode, we buy a lot at every Goodwill. Or I'm thinking maybe even a couple days episode ago, we definitely spent a $20 bill at every single Goodwill. Well, we broke a $20 bill because we had a coupon. We got right at 20 and used a coupon to get the $20 worth for about 17 bucks. So to answer your question, no. We, we don't specifically ever just budget, straight up budget what we do. However... What we do do is we fight viciously and endlessly to make our profit margins rather large. Yeah, very cutthroat about what we actually do spend money on. One of the most regular types of comments that we get that are like, ah, that are, I don't want to say annoying, but like, it's, un it's hard... It's difficult for us to find a way to be vocal about exactly what you're asking because, like, I, I get comments for the same five video games every day. People are like, that was a $15 game. Why would you not buy that? Well, it was $6. We do not buy $6 games to sell for 15 We very, unless it's some specific stuff that we're used to and know will sell tomorrow, we don't even buy $6 games to sell them for 20 Right. Our way of budgeting is, maybe the bins made us this way. Some people have definitely accused us of that. If that's what it is, fine. I'm, I'm, I have no problems with this. But when we buy stuff at the thrift store, we better be making a five to ten times multiplier profit on it. And that's how we keep it. So we don't, we spend little. We don't spend much at the thrift store. I very often pass up $20, $30 items for $10. I just don't. We, that's that's how we keep ourselves from spending too much and then eating away our own profit and stuff. It's it's choice, it's preference. 
a lot of people would probably argue against what we just explained just now that we do and say, oh, there's a better way, there's a different... But that's what we've just done from the beginning. And honestly, it's a lot of it's the bins. Yeah. Because we... It, there's just stuff that shows up every day at the thrift store. People are like, I can't believe you didn't buy that. And I'm like... Or like, another good one a lot of times are like, PS3 controllers, Xbox 360 controllers, those things sell really well. And so people see me passing up all the time for like three bucks. And they're yeah. like, oh my God, I can't believe you did that. But it's like, I have drawers full of them and they sell regularly enough but i find them at the bins every single time we go and i pay 10 cents for them right so that's our that's our strategy and it works great for us especially with it's more so with the toy booths all that we just explained there ebay it's a little different i mean if you if you if you get if you know every time you're going to post just for example let's say a ps3 controller you know it's going to sell today every time you post one or maybe the next couple days it's a little different okay i'll spend a few dollars to make a few more you, you yeah. can do that regularly but with our toy booths it's very dangerous to, to ever try to do that yeah. so with our with our booths that we put stuff in our antique malls we are cutthroat if we're not quite if we're not if we're not getting a, at least five times plus profit uh we don't mess with it thank you for that question um I think it was an important one. I, I, I definitely need to do better explaining. And my, my, a few moments ago when I pointed out my frustration with the comments, it's not that the comments are frustrating. It's just that I don't have the ability on every single video we make to say, I'm not buying that game for the 13th time when I, you know, because I already have so many copies that I paid a dollar for. I'm not buying the seven dollar. You know, it, it's just something that comes up all the time, and f there's just no way, you know. There's it's easy to, to go, well, I mean, if you bought that for $5 and it sells for 10 you are making money, but it's just, I would, there's a lot of factors involved that argue to say, no, you're not. And it's, it can be very difficult to be choosy, but you end up spending a ton of money if you don't make the right decisions. So. Very much so. <laughs> so we just, that's, that's the answer though. We just, I might've messed that up. <laughs> I think I cut into the seal on that magazine it's okay i was bound to have hey i was bound to mess something up today but yeah thanks again for that question um it's a good one and we should find time on like a live podcast or something to talk about it more because there's more to it than that but that's the basic version well i had a sealed copy of this ps stream magazine but i cut into it but that's fine i magazines are not something i particularly care to keep sealed because i i actually love reading them uh, quite a bit. I've never seen this before either. Go Gaming, the ultimate guide to the world's greatest mobile games. That might actually... How old is that? Because that might be helpful. I was just complaining to Hannah that s scrolling through Apple's App Store looking for games to play is miserable. Is that a poster? No. It's just... Okay. It's cool though. Look at the derp on this Pikachu! Oh, <laughs> That's awesome. So cute. Well, that'll go on the Pokemon shelf. Look at its tail! So much dirt. So cute. Uh, this is awesome. Oh, wow. Some train stuff. Is that, what is that, Bob the Builder? I... Something like that. Yeah. Some other not Thomas the Tank. Wrestling cards. Let's go. I have so many wrestling cards. I'm, oh my gosh. Why did I just lean over here and peek? Go peek. Uh, Pokemon unofficial card. Like that, those wrestling cards are awesome. I, I like, I have not, I have not, started bindering them or putting them in order i've just been piling them up so every time i see a pile like this i'm just like yes more more because this just means like with all the ones i already have there's no way i'm missing cards like i'm gonna have the whole set the yellow face ones are the ones i recognize uh this little guide for pokemon this is all about base set cards these are all base set that's awesome um so cool all base set cards much like uh, that'll go on the Pokemon shelf. Okay, what do I do? Hannah, nonsense. Oh no. Hannah, nonsense, lol. I guess you can open that. Tindo, nonsense. Let's just do it. Okay. Hold it up. You're always way faster at this than me. <laughs> nonsense is right. This is like a sandcastle thing. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Whoa. Look at this 13 foot long. <laughs> Thomas the Tank. There's a lot of hair in this bag. And this is die cast. Oh my goodness. 
That's beautiful. That's you know, what, you know who that is? Is I it just random? What is it? It's not even Barbie. No, I it's thought it was. Not. She's got really long legs. She does. That's funny. Captain Marvel pop. That's beautiful. Honey. There's so much nonsense what? in here. You know what we need to we need to like move this box and dump it out or something. There's just all right. Keep going. Yeah, I'm like I'm pulling out big stuff and then I'm I've got a bunch of little stuff. Die cast. Here. There's so many die cast mm -hmm. tanks in here. <laughs> I'm just literally grabbing pony hair. <laughs> so like, that's so funny. The Le the Lego but not Lego Pokemon. R two D two posted notes. This looks like it's. Uh, straight off like the bottom of a bin. That was a, I didn't even show you. I'm just like digging stuff out and tossing it. <laughs> um, Deadpool luggage strap and then Deadpool pop. I'm going to put that over here. He needs further attention. Ooh! Little airplanes. The, it's from the, the movie, the airplanes. Yeah, from the airplanes movie, Pixar movie. There's a pink one. That's and awesome. Ooh. I don't know if I've ever had an inbox Thomas the Tank anything. Is that all yours? That is. Ooh. That is everything in the nonsense bag. Red Trooper. All right. Um, let's do this real quick. Because there's just still so much more in mine. This is still the nuttiest thing I've ever seen. That's so crazy. It is. It's like a Thomas the Tank limo. Spurs keychain. That's cool for the keychain wall. And then Imaginex Batman. Always, always nice. And look at this Wolverine pop, Wolverine pencil topper thing. Cool. I don't know if it's a stylus or a pin. I don't know. I've never seen that. And a bunch of Hot Wheels. Ooh, I see a button. Hot Wheels. That, hold on. That is the gnarliest Hot Wheel I've ever seen in my life. It's almost like a Gundam mech type thing. That's cool. Um... Another pin for the pin board. Anakin and his pod racer, I guess. That's awesome. I love a bag full of nonsense. Oh no, do you see what I see? I'm specifically not trying to look, but I can't help it. <laughs> so, this is awesome. Um, we've actually found this at the thrift recently, and we already had a copy. Um, we got a, we've got a whole stack of Pokemon board games sitting right over there. And this is one we already have, because the earliest one someone sent us the next one we found at their store, and then uh, this is another one. That's cool. Honestly, the one we have sitting over there, I've never really checked it for completeness, so maybe we can make sure to combine with the two we have one complete. That's awesome. But doesn't that look like... I'd say it looks like something we could play, but you know for a fact those headbands are not going around my head. Oh my god, no. I'd have to put two of them together. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, let's keep going here. Ooh. Let's go. Uh, much like I said about demo discs earlier, Dragon Ball Z VHS are not something I've done a good job keeping up with. I probably have a lot of doubles currently because I just haven't spent a lot of time sorting them. Uh, Psychic Surprise, The Great Race, um, Primate Problems, Fashion Victims. Very nice. Ooh, a Pokemon bag. Ooh, baby. Very nice. Little bunny. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. That's <laughs> good on the duck shelf. Love um, it. Sealed copy of Anthem. Very nice. Bakugan DVD. That's awesome. Mario Brothers Mix. No! Oh, that must be the game. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's funny. We, you're going to have to stream this. I should. You totally should. Comment below if you want Hannah to stream it. Um... Bakugan, PS2, Anthem, Sealed. That's cool. I'm just, I'm not going to play Anthem, so we'll just replace the copy. I, I don't even know if I have a copy of it. I do see it at the thrift store, but I usually just, I don't know if I've come home with one or not. So we'll make sure the Sealed one is sitting on my shelf tonight. Okay. Um, this is awesome. Codename Steam. 3DS. Ooh. Dare to sample the best. So this is a PlayStation demo disc, but it's not jam pack. Interactive CD sample pack volume three. That's beautiful. Underdog. Underground. Sure wish I could read. <laughs> Final Fantasy. 
Wow, disc one and two. So uh, this is a demo disc thing also, right? Games to jolt you, codes to baffle. Yeah, it's kind of a demo disc thing. That's cool. I don't have, I, don't, I think maybe, I, I recognize that you immediately, so I think I have another one, but uh, PlayStation 2 demo discs from the magazine, which I collect. Um, I'm looking at them real hard trying to remember if I have them or not. And it's just another one of those things I haven't kept up with. I've got a basket full of them. And we're just going to have to make a video out of it one of these days. Um, just organizing that stuff. Because I've got some of the magazines and then just discs. And I've got some magazines sealed with the disc inside. And it just goes on and on and on. So um, I see some cards over here. Ooh, Ninja Turtle movie cards. Oh, cool. I have a lot of the TV show cards. I don't know that I have any, if not, maybe I have a few of the movie cards. But yeah, collectible cards from the turtles movie and then i can't tell exactly what these are uh mtv cards oh okay collectible mtv cards i've definitely never seen those here you go Ooh. execute i don't know if i have it i definitely don't have an execute coin so here you go it's going in uh thank you there's two pops here and i'm saving them towards the end because I have no idea what they are um very nice over 3,000 you know what I have this in the other uh, room another one of you guys sent me and I have it's sealed and I haven't opened it so maybe we'll just go ahead and play that one because it's open it's ready to go and then we'll just leave that one on the shelf that's beautiful uh oh uh oh, oh. wrestling is it more no okay marble cards let's go oh no Oh, more Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Oh, is that Versus cards? You wanted to, you guys want to hear a funny story? You guys know Marvel Versus? You know what that is, yeah? Yeah. Card game. You can pit Marvel vs. DC characters. There's lots of ways to do that. It's really cool. I just dug into my entire collection over there. I haven't paid too much attention to it. I bring home handfuls, put them in a box. All of my Marvel Versus cards are in Spanish. <laughs> little star, a little deck of Marvel vs. card. Very cool. So there's a bunch of Marvel cards in here. And then there's some Yu-Gi-Oh cards, which is awesome. Look at this. Banishing of the Darkness. I need to set those aside, too, so I can keep them with the Yu-Gi-Oh cards. That's awesome. And then more Marvel cards. I'm going to have to take a week off just to sort my Marvel cards. That's where it's getting to. Uh, another one for the rug. Listen. We don't have time for my rubber duck story and why I collect them and why other people are sending me rubber ducks. Obviously, these people know why and have heard the story. Um, but I've got a bunch of rubber ducks people have given me over the years. Before we had the channel, people would give them to me. Uh, and I've, I've kept every one of them, so I've been wanting to put them on a shelf. And now it looks like I'm going to have to put other rubber duck stuff on the shelf, too. <laughs> That's what's funny about it. Uh, what's... No! Let's go. All right. Ooh. Well... If you want to know what these are, those are probably going to have to uh, hang out with these other Pokemon cards from the earlier package, and I'll show those off on the other channel as well. Every Monday on the other channel, Pokemon episode. Okay. I see my little pony face. I know. What oh, the that's heck? So cool. They're the My Little Pony girls. <laughs> that's awesome. The little humanoids. That's funny. The anthro, the full, almost fully anthropomorphized. Ooh, this is pretty. This is like your kind of thing. You ready to color? Yes, I, I love coloring. I'd be bad at this. <laughs> I've actually almost bought this, these same books before. You get them at um, Barnes and Noble. Bruh, there's the pops. Oh, that's so I had, cool. The whole time I tried really hard not to look at them. I didn't know what they were gonna be. Uh, Harley Quinn and Zam Zamasu from Dragon Ball Super. That's awesome. Um, I have a growing amount of Dragon Ball Z stuff. And I've been toying with making a Dragon Ball Z shelf. But if, it, if I do, it's just going to be one shelf and i got to keep it limited to that. Because I don't want too many things to overflow on my collection shelf. Uh, that's the only Dragon Ball Z pop I've ever had. Dragon Ball related pop. And it glows in the dark! Oh. That's awesome. That's so cool. Well, guys, listen, it's been another whirlwind, as these videos typically are. And you know what happens 
whenever we do one of these, there's so much crazy nutso stuff that I don't know how to cope with it. Like, I don't uh, already, but then we finish it. And then we move it all again, and like it's almost like we start the video over. Because I'm like, oh yeah! yeah wait, I remember getting that now! <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's too much. It takes a couple days to settle in. Matter of fact, it's so much of an overload, I'll probably have to just watch this video tomorrow with you guys. So that I know what the heck happened. <laughs> it's like people all, often, not always, but often say they don't remember their wedding day. Because yeah. they're just so excited and so overload. That's how this always feels. <laughs> not that I'm comparing me opening nonsense to your wedding i'm sorry but like it's just it's like christmas morning yeah it's, it's just like oh my gosh it's overload thanks for hanging out with us guys thanks for uh enabling our bad habits <laughs> i think participating in the channel <laughs> that's a better way to say it but thanks for enabling um so much fun stuff to play with i haven't even looked at the pokemon cards we're going to have to shoot the Pokemon card video right now, too, because I don't know if I can go another minute without knowing what's in here. Or in here. In, or in there. Overload. Guys, you rock. Um, if you don't know, if somehow you just watched this whole video and you don't already know this, we post daily videos on this channel, most of which are like thrifting and reselling and stuff. So make sure those notifications are turned on. And uh, after you hit the subscribe button, that comes first. Uh, uh, because you can come back tomorrow and hang out with us because there will be another video ready to go tomorrow. Come find out what it is. Is it Goodwill Bins? Is it regular thrifting? Is it antique mall stuff? Who knows? But until tomorrow, guys, peace out.